know, for it. I'm not a super sentimental guy, but this is pretty cool. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage. So we haven't been on this format for a while talking about, you know, Bronco gifts and stuff like that. We've all received them, or most of us have. You know, we got hammocks and flags and calendars. Lots of stuff to try to make up for the weight and maybe other issues that you might have had with your Bronco. Today we got in the mail something special. And when I say that, when I opened it up, I kind of felt to myself, um, I kind of heard that this was going around and some other people had perceived some things. I honestly didn't think we were going to receive it. We did, and I'm going to show you what we got and why it's kind of special. All right, here it is. So, right on the very top, we got a new plaque for the center console. It actually has first edition on it, and it has the VIN number for our vehicle. So that, we thought that was pretty cool. That, that's, that's pretty cool. So we got that, and then we got a letter, and the letter is nice. It says, congratulations on purchasing a limited production first edition Ford Bronco. We are honored that you're among the first to choose and patiently wait for this legend's return with our sincere thanks please find the enclosed items a matted and framed copy of your window label with exclusive watermarked image of your bronco and suv an official certificate of authenticity commemorate the bronco as part of a limited production run for the 2021 year a replica console badge carrying your unique vehicle identification number and then it says uh thank you please share you know, anything you have on your Bronco with, uh, with, with Ford, sign the entire Bronco family. So I thought that was pretty cool. So when you dig into this a little bit, we get, here is the authenticity certificate. And it says, uh, vehicle VIN is a 2021 first edition Bronco SUV produced at the Michigan assembly plant. This is one of 3,531 four-door models produced. So that tells me what I want to know about how many four-door first editions there are out there. We got the framed copy of the window sticker. This, this, is, this actually comes full circle. So when we first got the Bronco, I specifically asked the dealership to leave the original window sticker in the truck so we could have it. And uh, when I went to go pick it up, the original window sticker had been uh, peeled off and, and it was cleaned. They then decided that they were going to print off another copy and put it in the window for us, which they did. When we went to go take it off, it tore anyway, and so we were done. We thought, you know what, it's fine. We've got a, we printed off a copy of a window sticker, which they, which they send you, along with a picture of it on the assembly line and you know those kind of things, and that was good enough for us. But then when we got this today, I mean, this is a very, very high quality print. You know, it's in an inexpensive frame, but I don't care. You know, it's, it's got plastic on the front of it, but it just looks nice and it's matted. So they have a nice matting in there and you can see our first edition watermark is right behind uh, the picture here, which is pretty cool. And it's got all the data in it that we need on the window sticker. Probably not gonna hang this up. I'm probably just gonna keep it with the certificate so that when we sell it, which inevitably we will, we will have something to go with it that kind of proves it's a first edition, I guess. You know, and there were some other things too that were sent that were fun and we appreciated them. Uh, they don't have to do that. I wasn't gonna cancel my reservation. And now Ford is going out of their way to even just try to make us feel even better about the purchase. And you know what? It worked Ford, thank you. This is nice, it's a nice gesture. You know, we as Ford Bronco people are really generous to each other and it's a great community. And they are doing a really good job of integrating themselves with the new Bronco into that community. And I say kudos to you and thank you very much. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Just wanted to show you kind of what Ford is doing. I think they're doing their best with all this junk that's going on with manufacturing, logistics and things like that. And I'm not going to fault them for anything. Every manufacturer in the world is basically on their side right now trying to make something happen. And uh, we're going to get through this. Please throw your comments down. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, check out the end screen for our other three years of videos.